Hey Lakeisha, it's Ronnie here and uh, all of the PLR.me clients uh, following this question. It's a great question about list building and list segmentation. Okay, so uh, let me go through this step by step. So do I create new new list for each product that has its own landing page? Typically, yes. Okay, so if products are unrelated, I typically create a separate uh, sub list within Aweber. Um, now, why do I do that? Well, I want to know what people are buying so that I can target related offers to them. Okay, so if someone is buying, you know, in my case, self-help content, that's going to be very different than if they're buying finance content, right? And so we want to segment that. So if I have a self-help related offer, I will target the self-help buyers. And if I have a finance related offer, I would target the finance buyers. You know, in your case, it might be, um, you know, stress versus relationship issues versus um, persuasion versus productivity and so on. Okay, so um, segmentation is very important. Now, if the topic is related. So let's say you have stress volume one, volume two, volume three, and so on. Well, sure, that can be on the same list. Now, do I add the the um, the, the context to a main or general list? Yes, I do. And in fact, that can be done automatically with Aweber. Now, let me show you how this works. So here's a, a master list that I have in Aweber. And you can see I have subscribed to the master list when the subscriber subscribes to any of these other lists. Okay, so I have a lot of automation rules here. So this happens automatically. Now, there's a couple of quick notes about this. First of all, this happens automatically without requiring a double opt-in. So when you have this automation rule, as far as I know, uh, as as current as the information is uh, as time of, at the time of this recording, there is no double opt-in required. Meaning if they subscribe to the lifetime list, they're automatically subscribed to the master list and they don't have to confirm their email address again. Okay, but you have to do this right away. So this is only for new subscribers um, you know, who follow this automation rule. The second important note is that Aweber double counts emails, okay, or triple or quadruple counts emails. Meaning if the same person is on the lifetime list and this FRCC list and this AR blueprint list, as well as the prospect list, they are on they are counted as a subscriber one two three four times okay so meaning if you have 500 you know 500 subscriber limit and you may actually only have 100 subscribers on five different lists each that counts as 500 so it's really stupid uh it's really frustrating about aweber it really should be based on the email address not the number of lists that they're on but just keep that in mind because you may end up paying more uh, for your list for the segmentation. Now there is another trick, okay? So you don't necessarily need to have a master list because there is something you can do. And I'll show you an example here. I'm in a broadcast. If you scroll down, you can actually uh, include or exclude lists. So typically it looks like this. You don't actually see anything. But when you click on this, you'll actually see all the different lists that you can include or exclude. So let's say I'm sending an offer relating to self-help. I can include all lists except for, for example, finance people. Okay, so I can just click on exclude. So anyone who's on the finance list will not get the email. Anyone who's on the include list will get the email. And so you don't necessarily need a master list anymore. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so what else do they want to talk about? Okay, well, you mentioned, um, you know, how, how, what are some other ways of segmenting your list? How are some ways of kind of dripping different um, emails to different people. Uh, Chantal mentioned here, you know, you want to have autoresponders for each product. Okay, so here's some, some additional tricks for you. Okay, so one thing I've done, here's an example. This is the free self-help pack. So if somebody wants the, the free self-help pack, there's actually eight messages in this series. Now, that's not a lot of messages. I mean, you might think, well, Ronnie, there should be more messages than that. Well, there are. Okay, there are. And I'll show you what I've done. So this, these messages are sent out every day for the first seven days. Then uh, on the th three days after the seventh day, so the tenth day, they're going to get the next message. Well, what happens next? Well, I have an automation rule set up that automatically, so just like here, so automatically subscribe to, subscribe to the master list, I have people automatically subscribe to a PLR follow-up list. Okay, so at the same time, they're getting subscribed to two lists. And this follow-up list is what's what's happening is it's going to immediately send them an email saying hey ps introduce yourself you know tell us about yourself um why do i have that message sent out because aweber requires 
a message to be sent out right away. You can't actually start it on day 14. You, know, you actually, they require you to have a message sent out right away. So what happens is they're going to get this message, your fresh PLR.me self-help content message. They're also going to get this PS introduce yourself message right away. Okay, so they're going to get two emails right away. Now, this is a little bit more personalized and getting people to respond. So I found that this doesn't hurt conversions and, you know, it actually works quite well. So then what happens, you'll notice that these emails stop on day 10. So this is day one, day two, day three, four, five, six, seven, then plus three, because there's an interval here of three days after the last one. Uh, so if you're, if you're uh, you know, user of Aweber, you know all about this. So this is day 10. So then four days later, they're going to get day 14. Okay. And that's what this is. It's so uh, right away, they're going to get this PS introduce yourself. And then two weeks later, they're going to get this email. And then it goes through, you know, two days after one day after four days after and so on. And you can see there's a number of messages here. So that's another way of daisy chaining email autoresponders. So you can have one list like I have here that actually works for all products. Okay, this follow-up sequence works for pretty much any product that someone buys from me. They're automatically added to this follow-up. And so I just make sure that the initial series stops before the 14th day in this case. Okay, so if, you know, before the 14th day, it stops, then this kicks in and people are now getting messages, you know, um, consistently from me. Okay, now there is another way of segmenting and I've used this recently. Now, unfortunately, this only recently came out in the last few months, so I couldn't integrate this into my business to avoid a lot of these headaches, you know, in terms of the automation, in terms of, you know, creating a master list and all of that. But there is a, pro a product called AW Pro Tools and I'll give you my affiliate link um, uh, inside of the, the, uh, the, the description. Uh, it's plr.me slash two slash aw pro tools okay now this is by a very good friend of mine named jack Bourne. he's an awesome awesome guy you can take a look at how this works you'll see you'll be able to tag subscribers so when they click on a link you can tag them you can move or copy them to another list so if they click on the link you can actually say oh if they clicked on this link saying i'm interested in this stress book well put them on the stress email list so then they get onto a new list and that, that new list can actually send them new uh, related autoresponders for um, the stress product, for example. Um, and you can also copy or move. So copying meaning, you know, you can copy them onto a master list or you can copy them onto a stress list or relationship list or a feng shui list or a persuasion list or whatever list that you have for different products. They also do um, daily backups and so on. There's some excellent stats um, and, and really cool things that you can do with AW Pro Tools. I would recommend checking that out. So I hope this answers your question. It is quite uh, quite detailed and some of the strategies are advanced, um, but remember you can do automation. You, can, uh, you don't necessarily need to have a, ma a master list anymore um, because it does cost you more money to maintain more lists, uh, even though it's the same number of email addresses, they calculate it as, um, as unique people. Um, you can also um, build sequences that tie into each other. So you can have one sequence that's seven days long and then on day eight is a new list, a new sequence. And then also you can use a program, a, a software tool called AW Pro Tools. It's web-based, it works on PC and Macs and, and so on. It's a great, great tool um, to help you with your list segmentation. Bottom line though, you absolutely need to be segmenting your list. Okay, you absolutely know, need to know who wants what, who likes what, and the segmentation is very, very important. Um, you know, it means that you'll be able to send affiliate offers that are targeted, that instead of um, mass mailing your entire list, you're only sending it to 30% of your list and actually getting 100% more conversions because of that. So segmentation is very, very important. Uh, I'm not familiar with MailChimp, I've not used it. I know that as far as I know, there is no way of segmentation like you can using AW Pro Tools. Of course, AW Pro Tools is not built into Aweber. It is a separate subscription. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's one negative there, but it is worth it just for the segmentation alone. Um, I know that GetResponse does do triggers and, and one click, um, uh, you know, automation. So if they click a link, they can be added to a new list and, and so on. So, uh, so that's it. Segmentation, very important. I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any other questions or follow-ups, please do let me know.